it really irritates me when South Park would say that red-haired people don't have <laughs> souls, okay? Because we do. We do have souls, all right? Teachers have souls. I go to church. I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> Ginger, I'm proud of it. Didn't catch a word of that. Could you please turn your hair down? I'd be mad, too, if God forgot to color me in and left me out to rust. <laughs> that red-headed stepchild is Michael, and he parlayed a nationwide disgust of his hair into over 32 million hits on YouTube, which translates into roughly $8. <laughs> Much like Down syndrome, red hair is a genetic mutation, and it occurs when a human has unprotected sex with a clown. <laughs> the only good thing about it is you can immediately know who that stray pube on the toilet seat belongs to. <laughs> Sure, freckles are cute on a cheetah, but what you've got in your titties are tons of moles. There have only been two hot redheads in history, a 16-year-old Lindsay Lohan and the Little Mermaid. Personally, I think her hair is way grosser than the fact that her bottom half is a trout. Why didn't Emma Stone make the cut? Uh, she's not a natural redhead, and I can't stand to see her lisp her way through another movie. Even that idiot Gilligan understood that the red-headed movie star on the island was hideous compared to the brunette, and that's saying something because Marianne was a flat-chested hick. <laughs> While it's no secret inviting a ginger into your home causes your plants to die, no one deserves to be bullied because of their hair color, especially when their skin is too thin to handle a few jokes. That's why I put that flaming hot Cheeto on a red eye and flew him to Hollywood, a place where nobody has a soul, in this week's Web Redemption. Welcome to the I'm Not a Real Doctor Feel Show, point oh. Today, we're addressing a topic that infuriates everyone. Angry, soulless ginger freaks. Please help me welcome Michael. Catch up, head. Oh. Calm down, everybody. Just calm down. I have this under control. Now, I know his hair is very disturbing, but this is what I do. My hair's not disturbing. Oh, it's so red. Uh, Michael, how old are you? I'm 20. I have to ask, does the carpet match the pubes? <laughs> how old's that video? It's three years old now. It was freshman year, high school. I was watching South Park. I saw the ginger episode, and it kind of like ticked me off, and I was over it. I posted it on YouTube, and overnight it got viral. If you're standing on a hot highway, you try to get off on the cool grass. I have selected the top five gingers of all time. I'd like you to take a look at my list. Do you agree with my list? No, not really. Who would be your number one? Ron Howard. <laughs> Ron Howard, number one ginger? No matter how flat you make a pancake, it's still got two sides. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah, they kept calling me Ginger, and they pushed me, one of them pushed me right here, and they threw the first punch. Technically, I counted that as a punch. I counted as a punch. You can only push a Ginger so far before that Ginger's gonna snap. Ginger snap. <laughs> Do you find the word Ginger offensive? Yeah, I find Ginger when people that aren't redheaded use it. Black people can say the N word. Spanish people can, you know, that word. And I feel like it's slanderous. What if I say, that's my ginger? Well, that's fine. Now, I'd like to show everybody another popular viral video of a grandmother that likes to yell about stuff that sticks in her craw. I don't care if you say honky, white, black, and the other word that nobody's allowed to use anymore that I grew up with saying, the white people are the ones that are discriminated against. What are the odds out of all the millions of viral videos out there that this man would know that woman? Why don't you tell everyone who she is? It's my memo. Oh! <laughs> That's his real life. Meemaw. That dog almost don't hunt. Meemaw, get on out here. Good Lord, Meemaw. Meemaw, thank you for being here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here, but I put in my tea and put on a bra to come. I wish you wouldn't have put on a bra. <laughs> have you ever breastfed Michael? 
No, no, I'm his grandmother. I understand that. Can I tell you something about L.A.? Everybody here is good looking. I mean, there's not a dog in the damn bus. Get out of here. Look at that guy right there. If I was younger, it would take a crowbar to get me out of his lap. Is your sex life still active? Hell no. My vibrator burned out. But I want to go to dinner with him. He's cute. Y'all can all tell that I like to eat. I can skin a rabbit and a deer, and I know how to clean a fish, and we're not going to starve to death, but nobody's going to be home to feed the dogs. We've got uh, a chow, an Akita. We've got three pit bulls, three labs, and a little uh, a pointer. And I hate cats. But anyway, my daughter loves cats. Cats are weird. They got weird eyes. They got every damn thing about them is weird. Meanwhile, you sure are making a lot of sense. Do you know what the internet is? Barely. Do you get competitive with Michael over views on your video? Oh, no. I'm proud of his views. I love to watch him. I don't like for him to use the F word. Now, I cuss and carry on, but I don't like for him to talk real trashy. Do you think Michael's temper is out of control? Sometimes, but that's because he's redheaded. Michael, it's clear to everyone here and myself that you've got to make a change or you're going to end up old, crazy, and alone like your Meemaw. Are you ready to make that change? Yeah. Michael, are you ready to make that change? Yes, I'm ready to make that change. That's what I like to hear. We'll be right back. All guests of the I'm Not A Real Dr. Phil Show Point o will receive a chandelier, a pair of Levi's 529 crotchless jorts, a vial of the AIDS vaccine. We have it, that boxy Mercedes SUV that costs 100 grand and makes you look like a real asshole, and one of Dr. Phil's famous mustache rides. About 10 seconds ago, a redhead promised he's gonna change his life, but a promise ain't worth a tub of crickets if you don't see it through. That's why during the commercial break, I helped him make that promise a reality. Let's see how much progress Michael's been making. Hey, everybody. Ever since Dr. Phil brought me out here and forced me to dye my hair black, life has been great. I don't hate what I see in the mirror anymore, and nobody asked me about my pubes. And I even finally got a beautiful girlfriend. I told you I don't want you dating in that. Shut it, Mimo. <laughs> Keep it moving, you stole a sparkly <laughs> Get out of here. Good night. <laughs> to be clear, that was me playing Dr. Phil. We paid top dollar to get the makeup team from Frank Caliendo's old show.